Peggy 18. Alan Wake 2 is a psychological survival horror game, and the player takes on the role of two different hero characters. The title of character, Alan Wake. The story is a monster. And a new character, Saga Anderson. Glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. Alan Wake 2 has many tools in it. <gasps> two narratives. We are exploring two worlds. It's not just Alan Wake this time. We have this theme of duality and echoes in Alan Wake 2, so we needed a counterpoint, like another perspective in the game that was a play off of Alan's, as well as having a character located in the Pacific Northwest so we could have both of those worlds present in the game and playable for the players. Even when we are not playing him, there are a lot of things that tie the story to him, and there are other ways how he is present in those moments as well. The character of Saga, she's an FBI agent and relative newcomer to the Bright Falls area. She is a really capable investigator. She is a mom. She's a teller of bad puns. What's not to love? She's enthusiastic about her job. She really enjoys what she does. But I think her most defining quality for me is her kindness. She's a very empathetic person, and she brings that into her work, and it makes her a better detective and profiler. These two different professions that are similar but different. The artist is looking for inspiration, the detective's looking for answers. You can see the parallel there, but there's different approaches to those things. We're obviously quite aware that the first game came out 13 years ago. So we wanted to make sure that we had a hero character who would bring the perspective of new players. We wanted to make sure that new players into the experience would be learning with her through the story. We wanted to make absolutely sure that we find the right actor for the role. And we were looking for quite a while for Saga. Hi, I'm Melanie Liebird, and I'm playing Saga Anderson in Alan Wake 2. This is my first time working in this medium and doing a game. It's just nice to learn something new. The voiceover part of it can be very intense when you get in the booth, but I've learned so much. All of us have been working with Melanie, and because of the writing process being ongoing, there are always new ideas and writing it more and more specifically to her as a role. I'm excited for the world to see Saga because I think she's a brilliant role model. And just to see a woman in this role, a woman of color being a protagonist in a game that we don't see that often, and just to have a lifestyle that she has, doing her best to balance work and a family, and I just think that's really relatable for a lot of people. While you know, we wanted to create one cohesive experience, we wanted to give each kind of playable character in their world its own style and mood. Something's not right! In a setup for Saga's experience, she's investigating these ritualistic serial killings. When we were looking at, like, from a narrative and tone perspective, looking at things like True Detective, we actually have a lot of, like, 90s references in terms of, like, things like Seven. The events that bring her to the Pacific Northwest are a series of murders, and they think there might be a serial killer somewhere lurking in the area. Part of this experience taking place in Pacific Northwest is centered around our fictional small town of Bright Falls. This idyllic, slightly quirky small town that clearly then under the surface has shadows and darker things waiting and a, and a mystery waiting. In the first game you didn't really get to explore the environments, but now you will be able to walk around the streets, discover the town a bit more, and revisit existing locations, like the diner, for example. Quite a lot of research was done uh, to prepare for this project. I spent several weeks reading research papers, gathering data on forest surveys, learning about key species of the area to properly do justice to the Pacific Northwest. The photogrammetry side of it uh, means that we can actually scan trees on site ourselves. The trees that we're seeing in the game are literally the trees that are from this area in the Pacific Northwest. The player will be going back to Cauldron Lake, which is obviously a key part of the story, be exploring all the forests that are around there. And because we kind of are more slightly open area based, so the player can freely explore, the player can kind of go back and revisit locations as part of their playthrough. Saga Anderson, she's not just any FBI agent coming into this case. There are elements to this that, that very much tie to kind of who she really is and, and a journey, a, a mystery to be discovered there as well. First things first, what's your name? 
So where has Alan Wake been these 13 years? He went missing at the end of the first game. That is the question.